What's up, fight fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the life of one of the most controversial yet celebrated figures in boxing, Floyd Money Mayweather. But we're not here to talk about his legendary 50-0 record or his iconic fights. Oh, no. This time, we're talking about a series of real-life dramas that have thrust him back into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Whether it's being detained in Dubai, tax woes, or past beef with other celebs, Floyd has been living through some serious heat lately. So, what really just happened to Floyd Mayweather? Grab your popcorn and settle in, because this one's about to be a wild ride. First off, let's talk about Floyd's take on the Diddy drama. Floyd Mayweather's decision to publicly back Diddy after the jaw-dropping revelations about his freak-off parties is turning into a major bad look for the undefeated champ. Even like P. Diddy, I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy. Mistakes happen, and I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake, but things happen in life. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt, but that's the choice that my daughter made. With explicit tapes reportedly showing drug-fueled orgies and sketchy behavior, Diddy's image is on thin ice, and so is anyone defending him. But Floyd, instead of distancing himself from the controversy, doubled down, calling the whole thing a media stunt. Seriously, Floyd? The fact that he's so willing to defend Diddy, even after these disturbing accusations, makes people question his judgment. Right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check out. Let's get into the most recent and hotly talked about incident. Floyd Mayweather being detained in Dubai. Yup, the man who flaunts private jets and luxury vacations was reportedly stuck in the United Arab Emirates. And no, this wasn't just a casual vacation gone wrong. We're talking about serious financial and legal issues here. Rumors started swirling when Mayweather's social media went silent for days. No flashy cars, no wads of cash, no jets. Fans were wondering what was going on. Then the bombshell dropped. Reports claimed that Mayweather was unable to leave Dubai due to unpaid debts involving real estate deals and luxury purchases that went south. Allegedly, Mayweather owed millions to various entities, and local authorities had reportedly placed restrictions on his movement until the matter was sorted out. Me and Eric B. were at, um, from Eric B. and Rakim, we were at the Mondrian. Mm -hmm. Floyd Mayweather was there. Mm. He had some tax issues. Um, he was about to go to jail, but that's before M Money Mayweather, that's Pretty Boy Floyd. Got you. He was speaking to E, he needed a couple of million dollars to stay out of jail. Mm. I called my man Neil, who I was rocking with heavy, he mm -hmm. owned Scunty, the hair accessory company. Everybody thought I was crazy, they said, yo, loan me, loan me two million, I want to sign Floyd. Mm. He flew out, loaned me the two million, and um, from there on, we were in the boxing business. Two million dollars? Now that's some serious money. And guess who added fuel to the fire? None other than 50 Cent. If you've been following the drama, you know Floyd and 50 have a complicated history. 50 Cent took to Instagram, sharing a post that seemed to confirm the rumors, saying Floyd might be stuck because of his money problems. The post went viral, and suddenly, everyone was talking about Floyd being in hot water in Dubai. You are to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, Mayweather's team hasn't officially confirmed these reports, but given his long history with financial controversies, it's not that far-fetched. Whether it's true or not, one thing is certain. This situation has the whole boxing world talking about Floyd for all the wrong reasons. While Floyd's financial troubles are making headlines, we cannot talk about what's been happening to him without diving into his ongoing feuds. One of the most explosive is with none other than his former protege, Gervonta Tank Davis. Now, these two were like Batman and Robin at one point. Floyd was grooming Davis to be the next big thing in boxing. But somewhere along the way, things went south. I uh, set you off because you was like, I gotta do that. A, a lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. 
Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Cause it's weird. I feel like y'all y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just it, Floyd don't never he felt as though I'm about to I'm about to I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the yeah, part that's of deal, he, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's, that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Take no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. Rumors of tension between Floyd and Gervonta have been around for years, but things escalated recently when Davis himself suggested that Floyd was trapped in Dubai. Gervonta's comments sparked even more speculation, and while it's unclear why their relationship soured so badly, it's obvious that the fallout has affected both men. Some say Gervonta wanted more control over his career, while others claim Floyd wasn't happy with Tank's discipline and training habits. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. But hey, what really shook things up was Ryan Garcia dropping a huge bombshell. Gervonta Davis was having an affair with Floyd's daughter. Now that surely soured things up between Floyd and Tank. I already knew. I already. I already knew about all that though. Once um, Javante f uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like. That's not something I'm exposing. And don't even get us started on the Fifty Cent feud. These two have been going at it for years. The two former friends and business partners have taken their beef to social media with 50 even mocking Floyd's literacy skills in the infamous reading challenge. Despite all the trolling, 50 Cent recently extended a helping hand, offering to financially assist Floyd while also shading him. Is it genuine? Hard to say, given their history. Even Floyd, like we got issues over here. He's still the best fighter out there. Until somebody beat him, that's who he is. Do you, you think he should step back in the ring? I think he got to right now because the money gone. So the money's really gone. Yeah, that's what, what you think. It's fight, get the money, spend the money, fight. All that money. It, it took it's been two years. So is it just his overhead is so high on a day to day, month to month? Like I, I don't, need, I don't even want to talk about. It. Like like with the lifestyle, that money's gone. Trust me. Now it's like you call him, he'll be at your you know your local hosting and a nightclub because you need that action right now. Floyd Mayweather's controversies go beyond finances; they extend into his personal life where he has been repeatedly accused of violence. Floyd has faced multiple allegations of domestic violence over the years, tarnishing his legacy. But hey, there's more. In 2010, Mayweather was charged with assaulting the mother of three of his children, Josie Harris. According to reports, he allegedly attacked her in front of their children, pulling her hair and hitting her multiple times. Floyd denied the charges but he later pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of misdemeanor battery, resulting in a 90-day jail sentence. This incident wasn't the only one. He's faced similar accusations from other women as well, making this a long-standing issue in his personal life. What's even more tragic is the fact that Harris passed away in 2020. At the time of her death, she was in the process of suing Mayweather for defamation over comments he made about the incident. He claimed she had been under the influence during the altercation, which she denied. It was weird how her death was ruled accidental, especially when she was about to sue Floyd for defamation over comments he made about the incident. Was it a coincidence? You tell me. An investigation is underway after the mother of boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s children was found dead. 
Josie Harris was discovered on Tuesday night inside a vehicle in a driveway at a home in Valencia, California. That is according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. The 40 year old had three kids with Floyd Mayweather. Right now, foul play is not expected. And let's not forget about Chantel Jackson, who went public with her own accusations against Floyd, claiming he threatened her with a gun. The list goes on, and it paints a pretty clear picture of Floyd's history with the women in his life. There was a point in my relationship with Floyd that I thought we would be together forever. As if all of this wasn't enough, Floyd recently found himself caught up in the world of cryptocurrency. Back in 2021, Floyd endorsed a crypto project called Ethereum Max, promoting it to his massive following. However, it didn't take long for the project to come under fire for being a potential scam. Floyd and several other celebrities, including Kim Kardashian, faced a class action lawsuit for allegedly misleading investors. According to the lawsuit, Ethereum Max's value tanked shortly after these high-profile endorsements, leading many to believe they were part of a pump-and-dump scheme. Floyd denied any wrongdoing, but the damage was done. This was yet another reminder that Floyd, despite all his success in boxing, has a habit of getting involved in questionable business ventures. So, what just happened to Floyd Mayweather? Honestly, it's a perfect storm of money problems, feuds, and bad decisions. While he's still Money Mayweather in the ring, his life outside of boxing seems to be unraveling in a way we haven't seen before. From being detained in Dubai to facing legal heat over a crypto scheme, it looks like Floyd's next fight might not be in the ring, but in court. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video. In the next video.